Hello! Today we're going to make an ice candle. It's a really creative way of either repurposing old candles that burned out but there's still a little bit of wax in there or you can always buy lots of wax at Michael's Hobby Lobby craft stores. You're going to need sticks and a uh, scent of your choice. You'll also need a container, a good um, cardboard milk carton is a good choice because you're going to have to cut it off eventually. Start by cutting off the top of your container. I found that good kitchen sear shears, good kitchen shears are adequate for the job. We're going to be using a double boiler so under here I have a pot of water filled about halfway and then this is a metal bowl that does not have the um, stop it from sliding rubber at the bottom we don't want to melt that so you just put that right over the pot go ahead and put your wax bricks in follow the directions on your package of wax um, it'll tell you what temperature um, to melt it to and at what temperature you should add your coloring and your scent. So we'll just wait for this to melt. The next thing you're going to want to do is attach your wick to the bottom of your cardboard container. You're simply, I just take a piece of tape, stick it on the bottom of the middle piece, and then you just stick it into the middle as best we can and then we're ready to for the next step Alright, the directions on my wax say that it is completely melted when it reaches 180 degrees. So we're just going to use the thermometer here. We've reached 180. I'm going to turn off the stove and now I'm going to add my coloring. I'm going to use the directions on the coloring. I'm just going to add a couple drops. Okay. And then stir that in well. I'm using caramel colored. Alright, once your dye has been mixed thoroughly, you're going to want to let this sit until it reaches 170 degrees. It's according to my wax. Again, it could vary. You need to read the directions on your wax. So while this is cooling down to 170, let's go back over to the container and continue our work. Alright, I put a blue plastic cutting board under just to catch any drips for when we get to pouring the wax. The next step is to fill your container with some ice. So, alright, you want to try to keep the wick in the middle upright. Just add.
refrigerator telling me I left it open. full of ice. Okay, we are now at our proper temperature to add the scent. So, I'm going to add 12 drops. And I'm going to mix that in as well. Alright, we're now ready to pour the wax. Make sure to use a pot holder because it did just come off of a boiling pot. I'm going to carefully pour it into our container here. And I'm going to turn it. And it filled up, so I stopped. And you can see already the wax on the ice. I'm going to top it off just a little bit more. Oops. Now we wait. After you've waited about 30 minutes and it's cold to the touch, take it to the sink. The ice is going to keep melting, so wait until it doesn't sound like there's anything solid left in there. Pour it out and then we can cut off the container. All right, the next step is to cut it out of the cardboard. You might wanna have a towel handy. Just pick one side, work your scissors in, and start cutting it. And then when that, when you get as far as the scissors can go, you can just rip it off. water in there so all right put that trash aside and there we have it our ice candle the last thing to do is to trim the wick <laughs> 